Hollywood really doesn't get it. The 3D revolution could fail just the way it failed in the 50s and 70s. One of the assumptions that, that uh, Hollywood is making about what happened in the past was that in the 50s and the 70s, 3D failed because of the poor projection quality. But in fact, they're wrong. The reason why 3D failed in the 50s had to do with the, the reason why it could fail today too, is that these films were not made as re really 3D films. They were made as 2D films with 2D effects. They were not using the, the, the new language of 3D cinema. They were not conceived for 3D and for 3D only release. Right now, these Hollywood films are not done using the revolutionary new language of 3D cinema. They're making 2D films shot with two cameras, using a little perspective behind the screen, and once in a while they have an in-your-face effect. That, to me, is bound to fail. To make these films that are both 2D and 3D is, is, is really missing the point. You have to treat 3D cinema as a true revolution, where it's a new language of cinema. If uh, a film, a 3D film has to be in 2D as well as in 3D, then it's reducing 3D to a gimmick. Now you have it, now you don't. So it means that 3D was not really used as, as, a, as a different language. My greatest fear is not to be proven uh, wrong a year from now.